LWO5442, the Marine Corps recordings. This is the B side of tape number three. This is IJ10, part one of one. at Iwo Jima. We are with the 21st Marines, which has been leading the attack up the center in this very bitter struggle. And we want to bring up to our microphone now one of the chaplains of that famous regiment, Lieutenant James Quinn of St. Albans, New York, who has been teaching in Oak Park. As we speak, we are kneeling behind a jeep in an open clearing. Many snipers' bullets and Japanese Nambu bullets have been crisscrossing this clearing uh, previously, and overhead planes are flying, supporting an attack of our Marines that's going forward just up ahead of us. And now, to turn to the chaplain, Father, uh, you've been back in the States until very recently. This is your first bit of combat. While you were back in the States, you read an awful lot and heard an awful lot about what the men went through overseas, but this is the first time you've actually seen it. Does it live up to what you had expected, or does it surpass it? This is far worse than anything I ever thought of. Back home, all we ever thought of was glory. Up here, there is no glory, only death in its worst form. Have you seen a lot of cases of extreme courage and bravery, Father? Every corpsman, every stretcher bearer, every doctor in the front is writing a history of courage that has probably never been heard of nor read before. Now, there have been tremendous number of fortifications on this island. We've heard of cases where there have been 800 pillboxes in an area 1,000 yards long and 200 yards deep. Those pillboxes have literally been taken by bayonet charges of our men who have gone forward with nothing but their courage and their own sidearms to help them. What about those men that you've taken care of, that you've seen as they've been wounded and lay dying, Father? All of them have been more or less cheerful. They have made no untoward demands. They have taken their fate as men, as the sort of men that you would expect they would be in coming out to a combat zone. They have not made any demands. They have taken their turn and awaited the doctor's aid. Now, Father, speaking to people who are still back in the States and who are like you were before you first came over, is there anything you'd want to tell them in closing? The men's greatest need out here, above all else, is the help that your prayers will give. Secondarily, they need the blood. Doctors are crying for it. Thirdly, they need the support that material arms can give. If you do your best in all of these three lines, you'll be doing as much as the boys expect. All right, thank you very much, Father. That was Chaplain James Quinn of the 21st Marines in the front lines at Iwo Jima during an attack that is now carrying us forward to the, to the northern shore. And this is Staff Sergeant Alvin Josephi, Jr., the United States Marine Corps Combat Correspondent speaking.